This is Ben McGahey with Yammy Chess. I'm going to be your math teacher today. Yammy Chess is the math learning aid based on classic chess that helps students in math and science education for school. In this lesson, we will learn about how to compare two fractions using uh, the mathematical symbols. We have uh, greater than, less than, and the equals symbol. So notice that the greater than um, has the uh, symbol with the alligator mouth that is kind of pointing towards the larger number. So the mouth is pointing to the larger number. And then with less than, the alligator mouth um, <clears throat> points kind of um, away from the smaller number. But notice that in either case that the larger number is kind of eaten, I guess you would say, with the alligator mouth. So like, for example, if you have 7 and 5, we know 7 is greater than 5, so we would do 7 is greater than 5, so using this symbol right here, the greater than, so using the greater than symbol, And then another example that we can use would be 6 and 8. So we know 6 is less than or smaller than 8, so we're going to use this symbol. So 6 is less than 8. So 6 is less than 8. And notice that the alligator mouth is always uh, eating, right, the, the larger number. So in this case, it's eating the 7 and eating the 8. <clears throat> so some teachers like to use the alligator mouth. Um, that's maybe how I heard in school. Um, other teachers may use Pac-Man, because you know in the video game Pac-Man, you have the, the mouth that's, that's eating um, all the little, the little packs, you know, in the game. So um, that's an easy way to remember it. And then with equals, that just means that the um, two numbers are the same value. So if you have, um, you know, 4 and 4, you know, 4 equals 4. So you would use this symbol for equals. Now I'm going to talk about some very important rules. Um, two rules for comparing fractions. Um, so the first rule is this one. So let's read this one out loud. If the denominators, denominators are the bottom numbers in your fractions, or the two fractions are the same, then we're going to compare the numerators, and those are the top numbers in your fractions. <clears throat> so, um, for example, um, the first rule would apply to this one because we have one-fourth and three-fourths, these two fractions. And notice that the um, denominators are exactly the same with value of four. So all we need to do is compare the numerators. We have one and then three. And so we know that one is um, going to be less than three. So we can say that one-fourth should be less than three-fourths. So we're going to use the less than symbol. So one-fourth is less than three-fourths. Okay, so let's look at the second rule. And we'll see the second rule will play an important part with many fractions because a lot of times the um, two fractions that you look at will not have the same denominator. So rule number two says that if the denominators of the two fractions you know are different, so they're not the same, find the cross product and compare the two numbers. So notice here in the second pair of fractions we have five six, seven ninths. Five over six, seven over nine. 
So notice that the denominators 6 and 9, those are different, not the same. And what we have to do is what's called a cross product. And the cross product involves multiplying the, the denominator of one fraction with the numerator of the other fraction. It's so kind of like a crisscross. So we're going to take 5 times 9 and then we have 6 times 7 crossover. And then with for our times tables, we know 5 times 9, that's 45. And 6 times 7 is 42. And now we just compare those two numbers like we do just with the regular numbers here. And we see that 45 is um, greater than 42, right? So since 45 is greater than 42, we can say that 5 over 6 is greater than 7 over 9. So 5 over 6 is greater than 7 over 9. Okay. And now let's look at our last example here where we have um, we have 8 over 12 and 2 over 3 or 8 twelfths, 2 thirds. So this last pair of fractions do not have the same denominator. So they don't have the same denominator. We have 12 for this denominator and 3 for the other denominator. So what we're going to have to do is do a um, cross product and multiply the denominator of one fraction to the numerator of the other fraction. So that'll give us, uh, let's see, 8 times 3 for this part and then 12 times 2 for the second part. 12 times 2 for the second part. So then we have 8 times 3 is 24. And then 12 times 2, that's also 24. So it looks like 24 equals 24. Right? So what we can say is that 8 over 12 equals two-thirds. So those two fractions are equal. So let's just briefly review these two rules for comparing fractions. That The first rule said if the denominators of the two fractions are the same, we just compare the numerators and then use the appropriate symbol, either greater than less than or equal to. Um, and then the second rule says if the denominators of the two fractions are different, then we have to find the cross product and multiply the, the denominator of one fraction by the numerator of the other fraction and compare those two numbers. And then we use the appropriate symbol. Okay, so those are a couple examples and we will take a look at some problems that I gave you to try. I gave you three problems here. So for the first two problems, one and two, you want to compare each of the following using the symbols greater than, less than, or equals. So notice that in the first problem we have 6 over 7 and 3 over 7, 6 sevenths and 3 sevenths, and compare those two. And then number 2 we have 9 tenths and 15 twentieths, 9 over 10 and 15 over 20, 
compare those two. And then three is a true or false uh, question. We want to we want to determine if 44 over 60 equals 11 over 15. So is that a true um, statement? And I'll give you time to work on these three problems. Uh, feel free to pause the video to work on them or re rewind the video to check um, the, the two rules that you need to use to compare two fractions. And then we'll go over the answers. Okay, so let's go over the answers. We have, in the first one, we have 6 over 7 and 3 over 7. We notice that the denominators um, are the same with 7. So we get to use the first rule and just compare 6 and 3. So we know 6 is greater than 3. So this means that 6 over 7 must be greater than 3 over 7. So we use the greater than sign. Okay, and then in the second problem, we have 9 tenths. And comparing that to 15 over 20. So notice that the denominators are not the same, so we need to use rule number two, where we find the cross product, right? So multiply 20 times 9, and then we do 15 times 10. And so I'll show you a quick way to multiply these without doing too much work is that you just multiply the 2 and the 9 together give you 18 and then you just add the 0 so that gives you 180 and then for 15 times 10 just do 15 times the 1 that's 15 and then add the 0 so you get 150 so you just multiply the the, um, the non-zero digits together and then tack on however many zeros you have left over. So we're going to compare 180 to 150. And we notice that 180 is actually greater than 150. So 9 over 10 must be greater than 15 over 20. And then in Problem number three, the last one, we have true or false. Determine if this equation is true or false. So we have 44 over 60, 11 over 15. So we notice that the denominators are different. So we're going to do apply the second rule of the cross product. So we're going to do the 15 times the 44. And when we have 11 times 60. So with 15 times 44, you're going to do 5 times 4 is 20. Carry the 2. 1 times 4 is 4. Plus 2 is 6. And 0. And then when you do 4 times 5 is 20. Then we carry a 2. 1 times 4 is 4. Plus 2 is 6. So kind of run out of space here. So we add right to left. So 0 and 0 is 0. 6 plus 0 is 6. And then 6. Then we bring down the 6. So that's going to be 660. And then in the second one, 11 times 60, we just use that little trick of multiplying the non-zero digits together. 
11 times 6 is the times table, that's 66. And we get 0 uh, added on the end. So we also get 660. So it looks like 660 must equal 660 because those are the same numbers. And so this must be a true statement. So we get true. So we got greater than, greater than, true. So let's see what our answer key says. It says exactly the same. Greater than, greater than, true. So great job. If you got all of those right, um, you know how to compare two fractions when they have the uh, either the same denominators or if they had different denominators. Great job. So this is Ben McGahey and I want to thank you for watching this video on comparing uh, two fractions with the like and unlike denominators. And please stay tuned for more lessons on yammychess.com. Have a great day.